Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're talking about journaling apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin. And my name is Ashley Roki. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're talking about journaling because we love me, uh, getting kids to write. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes hard to get them to write. And journaling is one of those options that allows them to write on their own and then decides what and when they're sharing mm -hmm. and create that daily habit of writing. So we do a lot of journaling in elementary classrooms and we should probably do that beyond elementary classrooms, but uh, this is one of those habits we want to help, and iPads have great apps to help us with that. So let's go. Okay, so the first app that I found for journaling is My Wonderful Days Light. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought this is nice because you can, let's see, here's the one I did yesterday. Um, and so you just type your text in and mm -hmm. it automatically saves the date for you. Um, then nice feature about this is oh, see. Um, you can select a mood mm -hmm. so that's kind of nice I think kids would like that yeah you can so say. I have mine all the way to happy because I was exploring mm -hmm. wonderful journaling apps <laughs> um, but you can insert photos <coughs> so let's plug in a photo and see what it looks like is that Dewey is Alexander that? Graham Bell oh, Alexander Graham Bell so now you have to place it somewhere? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Or if you can select stickers mm -hmm. as well. So um, let's And I back. love the style. I love that drawing style on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Because it's very pleasant. It's uh, non-threatening and it doesn't feel as, as technical, right. I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so when you come out of the... Mm -hmm. Edit it mode. The pictures show up here in the corner. Oh, okay. And so then it's there. Um, but over here on the side mm -hmm. is a list of all your journal entries. So, so you can start how you're you're building and you're having this yep. ongoing accumulation. And can you share uh, your? Yes, you can share. So so it gives me my personal options are email um, to print it or open in as a PDF. Okay, so. so it creates a PDF and then you can send it. So if you as a teacher want your kids to journal and then once in a while you want them to share, they can just email it from their devices as a PDF or just uh, have it saved as a PDF and mm -hmm. then share it through whatever other programs share PDFs. Right, and this is the free version. So you can get the full version. I'm not really sure what... What the full version has. Has in addition and so the full version is three dollars mm -hmm. and if you want every student to have it in your classroom that that does make it a little bit more of a problem but uh, it does have additional features and allows you to do more mm -hmm. so uh, that's my wonderful the days light my wonderful days light and actually the title shows up my w days yes so if you're looking for it just make sure you're trying different features and that uh, allows you to do that i'm going to share a different app I'm going to talk about Journal Junior. So Journal Junior has this wonderful flower and I love the art around it. It's a, it's a great way to do this. And you can see that you can look at old entries. Right now I don't have old entries in my journal because I didn't choose to journal on this one. But you can easily create a new one. And you, you see again, graphically, it's very pleasing. It's something that you want to write in. And again, we're trying to engage and we're trying to make sure that uh, students work with this. And so you write a title. The title is uh, Wednesday because that's the day we shoot. So even if you're watching this on Friday, for us, it's Wednesday. <laughs> so you write the message. Uh, today we are making you video. I think it's important to note because when I was trying out this app, you have to sl click under title and under message in order to get the. So you got to get the hang of it because if you click on title for some reason, it doesn't go automatically. Yeah. It doesn't open the cursor. Yeah. Um, but uh, and you can see that here we're getting mostly the keyboard, so you're not getting anything else. But if we go back into this text, 
uh, remember that you can exchange, you can have multiple keyboards, including emoji keyboards. So I can bring up Chinese or I can bring up uh, emoticons, you know, and they will show up here, right? And I have the emoji keyboard. Let's see if I can find them. So you can bring up these. So it functions like stickers and really replaces the need to have additional stickers or low. Stickers are everything. Uh, only glitter is better than stickers. <laughs> and you can bring up different languages. So in this case, it's Hebrew. So you can start writing in that as well. Although it's not built for uh, other directions. So Hebrew is written from right to left. And that's not going to work in this app. So you've got to have a language that is written actually left to right, as wrong as that may be. Uh, so this is, uh, this is Journal Junior. Great. What I love about it, it's very, very simple. You save it. It's there. You can access it. There's no more stuff there. Mm -hmm. So if you've got young kids that you want them to journal, but you don't want them to have too many options, too many things, or they start messing around with too many stickers instead of actually doing the writing, you want, this is a great app for that because while it's appealing and has all of these features, it does not actually uh, confuse or add too many details that can be seductive to to play with, but not necessarily helping. Mm -hmm. So this is a My Journal Junior. So today we talked about journaling on the iPad and some options that you can do with kids in the classroom or outside the classroom. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.